Hello, today I wanted to just, uh, do a quick rundown on how to use the Truma Combi control panel here. This is inside my coach and beyond and you can see that the, the time it's, it's actually um, 150 right now so the time's wrong so if I wanted to set my time I could push this button here this button you can either push it in or you can rotate it if you rotate it it moves to the different sections and if you push it it selects that section so we're gonna do the time right now so I'm gonna rotate it until the clock is flashing and then press the enter and now you see it's got the time there and the way this works is if you want to go to AM you just have to roll it down and now you're into AM it's like a continuation but the time right now is actually 150 so we'll do that and I'll push this and then I'll roll it up to 50 and press it and now if I, this button right here is a back button when you press this little return it takes you back to the previous screen so now it says it's 1.50 p.m. alright so if you wanted to come in here and turn on the coach heat you press this button the center button and then you can rotate this to the function you want like I said before so we're wanting to do the coach so the coach is blinking and you press it the center button now it says off and now we can set the temperature that we want it to be so if we want it to be heat to let's say 60 degrees you rotate to 60 and you press the on button and then now you can see that that's still flashing that's where we're at but that is lit if you go off here you can see that the heat is on and it's using propane and there's the fan okay and since we're plugged into one uh, to a 30 amp outlet I also have that little icon right over here on the left, on the right side, showing it's plugged in. So we're going to turn off the furnace. We don't really need the furnace. Push that again, and I rotate it to off, and select it again. So now that's turned off. So the the furnace is off. If you want to do the water heater, you rotate it so the water heater is blinking. You press it, and then you can rotate it from off to eco, hot, or boost. Eco keeps the water about 104 degrees. Hot is 140. And then the boost, that heats it to about 144, they say. But it, what it also does is it kind of diverts some of the power that's going to heating the coach to all water. So it would make it all, um, all applying to that so you get hot water quicker. Okay, so we're going to go back to water. We, we, Oh, and, and to get that, you'd have to come in here, rotate it like here, and select it. And now it says it's hot, hot water. So if you came out of the screen, you can see that your water heater's on, hot, and it's using propane, even though I am plugged in. I'm going to rotate and turn it off because I don't need hot water right now. So we turn it to off. Okay. Now, you, if you rotate it so this little bottle and lightning bolts are blinking, if you press that, now I'm using gas, or a mix of gas and electric. There's two electric elements in the system. One's about, I think it's like 700 watts, 800 watts. And the other one, if you do two, it's using both the elements. And that's like, I think it's like 1600 watts. So it's, it's more. Um, electric oh and this right here the mix is using gas and both the burners gas and one burner or just gas if you go over here to EL it's one burner or you know one element and two elements so if you're hooked up into a campground or so you could use the EL2 but it's probably a little bit more efficient to use the propane and electric because it it just heats better okay so we're gonna leave that at gas and then your fan speed, now you have off and vent. If, it, if the heat was on, you could change the settings there. But, but when it's, the heat is off, 
you can only get off and vent. That's your two choices. If you go to vent, you have speeds one, two, three, up to ten. So like now, now my um, furnace fan is going to be running just to circulate air. It's just I can hear it clicking right now. And uh, let's see. Uh, there's no air coming out yet, but oh, there we go. Okay. And now you can you can hear the fans blowing. I don't know if you can hear that or not, but that's actually the furnace fan blowing, but just in a ventilation mode. There's no heat applied to it. So I'm gonna go back and turn that off. So I'm gonna go back into the fan. And I'm gonna turn that down to off to one and there we go so now that that fans turned off if the heat was on let's just put it to 40 and then roll over to the fan now it has eco high eco and high that's your two speeds of your fan so but we're going back over here and turn off the furnace and then now if you come back over to the fan, you see it's off. So there we go. Okay, so that covers uh, basically the setting the temperature of the coach and the water, um, the, turning the water heater on. But let's say you want to set a schedule to have the coach furnace come on at a particular time in the morning or the water heater to come on at a particular time. You rotate this knob until the little clock timer thing is flashing. It's got a, it's not a full clock, it's a timer. And you select that. And now over here it says start. So this is the start time. So let's say at 6 in the morning, let's say 6.15. Okay, so at 6.15, now the end time is uh, an a.m. or a p.m. Since we started at 6.15, we're going to do it till um, 7.30. Okay, so at 7.30, that's the end time. Now it's going to show us the choices. Either the furnace, oops, we'll turn that off. I selected it. Or the water heater. We want the water heater to come on. So we're going to rotate that to hot. Press that. It's going to be on just by gas. So we'll select that. And we're going to turn that program on. So I select it. Now that's blinking, but up here in the top you can see that there's a timer up there. So if we just exit the screen, now up this top corner, you can see there's a timer right here. So that's on. If you want to turn that off, you just rotate back to that and you hit off. It's gone. So that timer is gone now. So now it's just going to operate like normal. Just the just the way if you'd come in here and turn on the, the, the water heater or the, or the coach heat. So that's that. Um, there is a tool button down here. The little wrench. This is your offset. Uh, this is like, let's say your, your furnace says that it's 60 in here, but it's really 65. You can come in, come in here and you can change that to make it kind of match some. So there's that, there's uh, the temperature, you can either do it in uh, uh, Fahrenheit or, or um, centigrade, Celsius, and the brightness of the screen, it's on 6 right now, you see you can brighten it up or lower it, I like it there on 6, and then the next thing is a 12 hour or 24 hour clock, you can press that and select 12 hours or 24 hour, I like the 12 hour, and then your language, you have English, French, Italian or uh, Germany, Deutsch, I believe on English. And uh, index, uh, this is your um, operating, your, your um, version that you're on. If they ask you what your version is, what what's, um, update you're at, it's 3.00.01. So that's basically everything in a nutshell on the little Truma. It's really pretty simple to run. And right now I have nothing selected up here because if, if there was something on it, it would be up here. So this tells you that it's 
everything's off right now. There's no timers, the furnace is off, the water heater's off. Everything is just uh, normal, unused right now. If, if you go to push this button and it doesn't, nothing happened, it might be because it sat so long that it hadn't been turned on. You have to hold this Brett button in until, for it to turn on. And that's just a simple, you'll know if, if, if it's not responsive, just hold that in for a couple of seconds. Well, that's basically the Truma control panel. If you got any questions, just leave a comment in the video. Thanks for watching and hope you have a great day. Take care. Bye.